young man, just tell you a little bit about him, why he has been selected this year. This young man has been a part of our church since 2002 when he was five years old. Along with his siblings, he's been faithful to our church and its activities. As an active member of our children's church, he began to show leadership qualities, so in 2005, he was placed in charge of our sound system as a team member on our puppet team. 2006, he was allowed to join our neighborhood outreach ministry team, an outreach ministry to many of the housing communities in our area. Normally, one had to be 11 or older to be on the team because there was so much work involved for the leader to take on younger children. But now, as a part of the team, his role is to set up for the outside meeting, run the sound system, help with games, puppets, snacks, clean up the grounds, tear down and put away all equipment, and he continues to fulfill his role well. Burlington Assembly joined the JBQ program in the 2006-2007 season, and this young man was the first to join and has been dedicated to it from the beginning. In the three years that he's been involved, he's earned all his seals and just recently earned one of his major seals. When he's not quizzing, he actually serves as an official for Teen Bible Quiz. In the six years plus that he's been a part of our church, he has near perfect attendance in children's church, Bible quiz matches, tournaments, and three practices a week. He's always shown respect to adults and his peers. Though he is rather shy in nature, he's always been willing to do whatever's been asked of him, whether it involved being behind the stage or singing in front of others. He is a true servant to all. Sometimes children for whom English is a second language may have difficulty in quoting verbatim in English. This, along with his Spanish accent, has caused him to be ruled incorrect in competitions when actually he was right. He never questions the quiz master or judges when this happens. Instead, he tries to learn from it so that it doesn't happen again. This is his third and final year in Junior Bible Quiz. His intentions are to continue his involvement next year as an official and to join our teen Bible Quiz team. In closing, I'd like to share a few quotes from our church staff. This young man is quiet and respectful. This gentleman is pleasant and well-mannered. Mild-mannered, excuse me. Alberto is a polite and serious young man who is diligent in studying the Bible and encourages me to see him memorize and quote scripture. Pastor. And the final note, in Al this young man, I see a normal man. I gave it away, sorry. You all figured it out, you know I see a normal man with the greatest words ever written or spoken, hidden in the recesses of his heart. He stays faithful to the Lord, the Holy Spirit will use him to change the lives of many in these last days. Though all are proud of you, none are more proud than your Heavenly Father. Alberto Munoz from Burlington Assembly. This is why I do it at the end. This is really what I want to see. And Alberto, I know you for years because I've seen you for these three years. I know who you are. Somebody says Alberto Munoz, I know who you are. I see you. I recognize you. And you know what? I ain't going to argue with anything that Pastor Dale wrote for me here. But I do have something special for you that we give to our Master, or master Seal, Bob Spence Award winner. We have a gift card for a Christian bookstore in your area for $25. And at the quiz meet in the West Division last month, Mr. Bob Spence, for whom this award was named, asked me to give you a $10 bill as well. And that's inside this envelope. This is for you, Elmer. Yourself and you. I understand. Well, that's why I moved to the side of the at me. I'm very I'm proud of you. I'm glad to see you're going to continue on helping out and make sure I'll look forward to seeing you, man. Thank you very much. Let's give him a hand to those guys. If you want to put this inside there, you can keep this. That way it doesn't get all scratched up before you get to church now, okay? Hang on, man. That's yours. Alright, if I could, let's have everybody stand to your feet. Brian. Brian.
right with the coaches to get their Oh, points. yes, we do have these two coaches, one per team head coach. Please come up and get it at the end of the day. Let's end in a word of prayer. God is good. Let's pray.